So in this video I want to talk to you about the medicinal mushrooms. I want to dispel a few common myths that I see and I hear people talking about and then also talk a little bit about why they're so beneficial, why I think they're really coming to the forefront at this point in history and uh, tell you which are the best medicinal mushrooms in my opinion. So a few common myths that I see you know, out there in conversation is that you know you shouldn't be eating mushrooms, you shouldn't take mushrooms of any kind because you know they feed candida or they're a fungus or they're a mold and it's not good to put it in our body. Now basically the medicinal mushrooms are completely different from the, uh, the more edible food kind of mushrooms with the exception of shiitake and maitake which can be eaten as a culinary item but are more so valued for their medicinal properties. So things like the button mushrooms and the portobello and these things, when people are recommending against eating those, in most cases their recommendation is correct. However, you need to understand that the medicinal mushrooms are completely different from this and have different effects and are used in different ways. So for one, I think, you know, obviously you don't want to eat any kind of a mushroom raw because it is a fungus and putting fungus in your body doesn't make too much sense. So these medicinal mushrooms are you know, effective and usable only after they've been processed either through a tea or through a tincture or through some sort of other extraction that puts them into like a powdered form. Um, so that's one myth that I see out there. The next is that you know, people with candida or fungal conditions should stay away from the mushrooms. All mushrooms. And I think this is completely false because the medicinal mushrooms are, in my opinion, one of the best things that anyone with a fungal condition or with any kind of um, bacterial or candida or thing like that, this would be a class of herbs that would be so beneficial to consume on a daily basis, along with obviously a good diet and clean water and exercise and these other things. So I think those two myths are completely false and, mis and misinformed and just miseducated because you know, a lot of times in conversation when you might say, oh, I'm a medicinal mushroom, or reishi is a mushroom, people come up with these two stories, or oh, I heard such and such say mushrooms are bad and I don't want to have anything to do with it. And this is just completely false and I wanted to dispel that. So now what are some of the top medicinal mushrooms? My opinion, the ones that I've worked with the most are reishi, cordyceps, and chaga. Now there are a host of others like agaricus, like lion's mane, like maitake, and shiitake, and agaricon and a few others. They're all good. Some are, have different effects, um, but the three that I feel that have the most broad spectrum, uh, widest uh, range of benefits for the body would be the three that I've just listed, the cordyceps, the reishi, and the chaga. Now what makes these medicinal mushrooms so potent is that, uh, like I've talked about in a lot of my videos, they have a modulating effect on the immune system. They help to balance, strengthen, and tonify our immune system. So they calm down allergic reactions and you know autoimmune conditions and they kind of stimulate weakened immune conditions. But they also just make our immune system function more clearly and help our body just detoxify and clear out you know malignant cells, dead cells, pollutants, toxins, bacteria, fungus, yeast, mold, all of those things. It just helps our, our white blood cells and our natural killer cells and macrophages and phagocytes and all of these things just naturally do their job better and more intelligently without overstimulating the immune system, which is a huge benefit because, you know, honestly, the world is not necessarily getting that much safer. If anything, these bacteria strains and these viruses are just, you know, they're intelligent and they have a will to live as well, so they're trying to, um, you know, morph and change and grow and stay alive, so the, the best defense uh, against these things would be just strengthening our immune system because we can't rely on a vaccine or something like that because these strains are always changing. So that's why we need to strengthen our immune system. The mushrooms are always great prebiotics, um, meaning that they help to nourish the beneficial bacteria in our gut. And we're mostly bacteria. We're mostly you know, like four or five times more bacteria than we are actually ourselves. So we need to keep this ecology in balance. The mushrooms are good at that. They're also adaptogens, meaning they help our body adapt to stress and balance and modulate all the different systems in our body. And lastly, um, they're really great for the liver, for detoxing, cleansing, protecting the liver, and helping the liver function uh, more efficiently. And the herbs like reishi and cordyceps have been, they've had a lot of research done for um, you know, viral conditions affecting the liver, like hepatitis and things like that. 
And if you think if you just go to PubMed or just Google around these search these researches, um, or this research I should say is pretty well available. It's out there. You can find it. There's books written about it, and um, it's pretty well established. They're also the mushrooms are also very potent antioxidants, and chaga is known to have more antioxidants than any other substance. So this is just you know a little tidbit, a little tip of the iceberg of what these these herbs can do and what they do in the body. And this is a huge conversation, but for one class of herbs to do so many different things makes me want to take them, and that's why as soon as I heard about them, I started taking them and taking them every day since. And since there's a variety, you can always be changing it up and not get burnt out on any one herb. You know, do reishi for a while, do cordyceps for a while, do chaga for a while, do all three for a while, and just keep changing it up. Keep educating your immune system and just improving your health and taking your energy to the next level because one of the main things that zaps our energy is our immune system being bogged down. So we just take that burden off and we automatically get more energy. So that's that's why I think the medicinal mushrooms are you know, really the pinnacle or the crowning achievement in as far as herbalism goes. And you know, Chinese medicine, tonic herbalism would agree with me on that factor since reishi is up there at the top, cordyceps is up there at the top. So hopefully that's been, been uh, beneficial, enjoyable. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I will talk to you soon.